The next filter we're going to check out is the coupler filter. This filter can be set to a band reject or band pass mode, and you can switch between the two with this dial. Let's try the band pass mode first. So a band pass is a combination of a low pass and a high pass filter. You can control the entire bandwidth with this dial, make it wide or narrow, and you can control that center frequency with this dial. Let's hear this. I'll disable all modulation for now. So we're still using the sawtooth. Sounds thin as the center frequency is all the way up. So that's the range you have. Let's change that bandwidth. Wider. Let's make it really narrow. We can barely hear it now. So if your bandwidth is really narrow, your gain is also significantly reduced. We still have these two bottom controls here, so the keyboard tracking options, as well as the sequencer control. Alright, now let's try the band reject. Band reject is very similar to a notch filter, so removing a very narrow range of frequencies from your sound. Though here we get to control the width of that attenuation. The center frequency works the same as the band pass, except that you're selecting the center frequency of what you are attenuating. This could be a nice control to modulate. We have two CV ins to modulate the frequency and one CV in to modulate the bandwidth. I already have a signal in here, so let's crank up the depth. This is right now audio rate modulation. Let's try this envelope. So you can hear the movement there. Let's try an oscillator set to low mode to modulate this. I'll use a sine wave output out of oscillator 4 and replace the other modulator. Turn off the envelope and let's crank up the depth on this LFO. I like the idea of having a key tracked LFO. So if I turn on key tracking on this driver, higher notes have a higher rate modulation and lower notes have a lower rate modulation. Okay, now let's try modulating the bandwidth as we have one CV in for that. So I'll take the same sine wave and plug it in here. Let's crank up the depth. So now we have that same LFO modulating the bandwidth. Let's see what it sounds like if it's also modulating the frequency simultaneously. Let's also bring in the envelope. Interesting, you wouldn't get something like this on a low pass or a high pass filter. Cool, so that's the coupler filter. Next, we'll check out the multi mode filter.